Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at Daz Studio and how to create morphs. Now, there's lots of reasons why you might need a morph. Uh, if you want to change the look of your character, I have the default Genesis selected. And if you go into Actors, Wardrobes, and Props and Shaping, Shaping tab, you get all, uh, you might not have all of these. Some of these morphs I had to purchase. But um, these morphs change the body. Okay. So I'm not totally sure how to get a morph into this window. But I have figured out how to create morphs under your parameters tab. If you go to morphs in your parameters tab. I have cr figured out how to create these little morphs and uh, I'll show you what I've created so far. So let's dial these back down to get the default. And if you look, um, I did a quick one for the head, even though you have to be on the whole body to see this. So let's go back to here, go to Genesis. And I made a couple for like an alien type. So for the head to be really big, like for an alien. And then I made these for the lichen right here. The hunchback and the lichen head. And I'm going to show you how to do the lichen head today. Uh, but first we should go to the lichen and dial him up okay so now we have the lichen and we have his head but we're going to need to back off to see some of this so go back to our animate tab and here's our character with no morphs on him besides the lichen morph and I'm going to make a new morph for his head to be wider okay so we go to create new deform I'm gonna call this I'm gonna call this something different so we'll just call this head morph okay and as soon as you do that you have to be selected on your avatar to do that it changes it parents the morph to the Genesis character so this bottom one let's open up this one this bottom one is the field so the field shows you all the little points that are going to be affected. And because uh, this is so large right now, everything, the whole avatar, is selected. So we go to, we're on our field, and we're going to scale this down quite a bit, because all we want to change is the head and preferably like the back of the head and I've already done this I've er already tried to create the video once so this is like my second try at it okay so now we're gonna go to the field we're gonna raise this up to the head area I don't want to affect the face so much so I'm going to bring this back a bit. And the red area is going to be the area that's affected the most. Okay, and I don't want the shoulders and all that, so we're going to dial this down a little bit more. It's about there. And then... Uh, now that's not bad where it is. It's not bad. I'm getting the ears a bit. And I'm getting uh, a little bit of the face. Probably a little more than I want. So I'm going to kind of squeeze this in just a little bit. Right there looks good to me. So if you look at all those little red dots, that's the area that's going to red and orange dots, those are the areas that are going to be affected the most. And actually, I think I went a little bit too far. 
What about there? Okay, now we're going to go to the base. So the base is the part that's actually going to do, or at least the position of the part that's actually going to do the morphing. And we'll, we'll take a good look at this base. See, that's what the actual morphing tool looks like. Okay, so that's uh, too high. So I wanted to give you a look at it. And we're going to drop this down into the head. And then if we start dialing this morph right here, the head morph, and we start dialing it up, you can see the changes start to happen here. And then you can adjust it from there depending on how you like it. See, to me, this is making, well, actually, it's looking pretty dang good. That's pretty much how I want it. It affects the neck a little bit, mostly the ears and the back of the head. I just want a bigger base to um, a bigger back of the head, basically. That's what I want. So now I have it dialed up to a pretty extreme range there, but everything looks good to me. So now I'm going to actually create the morph. So here we have uh, most of it done, all of the hard work, and if uh, I was doing this as my final, uh, I'd probably spend a little more time tweaking everything. But it looks pretty good to me, and I've already created this morph, so <laughs> I'm just creating it for you here. So we're going to go to Windows, Tabs, go to the Deform window. So we get this little tiny window here. We want to select all of these, and then we want to spawn a morph. But we want to make sure we're on the Genesis character, on the main Genesis character, and that now we want to spawn the morph. And the morph we're going to call this, we'll call this uh, Test Lichen Head Head Morph. Okay, uh, it says uh, deformer still affects some nodes. Do you want to delete it anyways? Yes. And if you look on the side here, we have test like in head morph. So now we can delete this. And if we dial this up and down, we'll see the extremes that will go. And this doesn't have any... Um, parameter settings yet. So I'm going to go into my parameter settings. Um, I don't really like using percentage, so we're going to use value and accept. And then go back into it. And the minimum, I'm going to make it zero because that's the default. Oops, I should have changed the other one too. And the other max is one, uh, which is fine. So that's, that's fine, yeah. And I'm going to respect limits, yes. Okay. So now when we dial this, see there, that's with no morph, zero. And that's with the full morph on. Okay. But that it's not done yet. We still have to save this. Okay, because if I close Daz Studio now, um, this would not be saved. So, to save this, we're on the Genesis character. We want to go to File, Save As, Support Asset, DSF, Morph File. Okay, so we have the author, me, at you. Um, we're going to make a new folder. This is going to be the folder's name, the product name. So we're going to make this test morph and then we go open up Genesis and we're gonna find the morphs so here we go Genesis morphs here's our test one and we want to accept and that will save the file so if we go to our morph location which is um, Studio 
Studio, My Library, Data, Das 3D, Genesis, Base, Morse, MedHue. See, we have the test morph right there. Okay, and I can show you um, some of the other ones. Uh, here's the one I did earlier, which is the lichen morphs, and I have the hunchback in there, morph that I made, the head morph, and then I made two small icons. And that's what you see over here, these two little icons here. That's what you see. So here's our test folder, and to put those icons on, I'll show you real quick. We're going to go to, so here's our new one. I could uh, go, you go to presentation editor. And let's say I want to make this a cool little color like I did the other ones. So I'll select a color, just like that. And then you want a card image. So uh, you would make a file, and then make an image file, and put it in this test morph folder. So you add it to this test morph folder and then you would direct this, you browse and direct this to that folder. So let's and then you would save this. So let's just save it with no image now. And then once you've changed something with this, you have to resave it or else it's not going to come back the same way. So once we, we've changed this color, so now we're going to go to Save As, Support Asset, DSF More File. We're going to put this back to Test Morph. Make sure that's the same name, Test Morph. Select our Morph, which is the test one. And now we've resaved over top of this. So the next time we open this file up, we're going to see this as blue or this aqua color. So let's close this. Don't save anything. We'll open this back up. Open Daz Studio back up. Do, 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 do. Okay, we go to our morphs again, and here it is. Test lichen morphs. If we dial up his head, whoa. See, these morphs will work on any character. Even though you make it for one, they'll work with any Genesis character. But um, that's basically how you make a morph. So, have a good one, everyone.